Hey y'all, Daniel Aaron here, your guide to vibrant living and question for you. Have you ever had a problem? Have you ever wished to get rid of your problem or problems? I have two hands up on that one for me. A good friend of mine, Peter, has Oh, what are those kind? Of? Newfoundland. He has uh, Newfoundland dogs. He has two of them, and then he's got some other small dog. I visited him, and um, stayed with him, and excuse me. Um, great, super sweet guy. Loves his dogs. So dedicated to his dogs. I walked into his house. Now and I'm, I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit this, and I looked around, and it was like, you know, f f they're hairy, big. I don't know if you know these dogs. They're big, massive dogs. And the floor, he had carpet, wall-to-wall -wall carpet in his living room and through the hall and bedrooms. And there was like clumps of black hair all around. And um, so I kind of took that in. I'm a little bit of a, you know, neat freak myself. So, you know, do my best with it. And, um, you know, just happy to see my friend hang out, stay with him. Um, next day, we're going for a walk um, with the dogs. And I say to him, I was like, wow, you know, it must be a lot to uh, keep up with the dogs and the hair. And he said, yeah, it is. I have three vacuum cleaners and I, I run the vacuum cleaner uh, every two days and I still can't keep up with it. Now, I was thinking to myself, again, embarrassed to admit this, I was thinking to myself, oh, Jesus, that sounds yucky. I don't, know. I don't want to be doing that. And he, as if he was reading my mind, said, you know, the thing is, I'm so grateful to have these dogs in my life, this energy in my life. And then he went back and he told me the story of when he was married and his, and his wife and their children, um, his wife, uh, understandably, I can relate to this too, used to complain about um, picking up the children's clothes all around the house, you know, socks here, socks there. And he would say to her, we're so lucky to have this kind of problem. We're so lucky for it, you know? And because part of what that means is we've got, we've got this light, this energy, this life happening. When I was in college, I uh, had an gr incredible teacher my first year of college in a podunk university in Virginia, a gem of a philosophy to turn me on to philosophy and religion, which came became my dedication in life, really. And um, his name was uh, uh, John S. Peel. His father is Norman Vincent Peel, who you may know from... He got famous for the power of positive thinking. Now, Norman Vincent Peale was an incredible man, great uh, teacher, writer, and at the age of I think like 92, he was out uh, teaching and helping people. And somebody interviewed him and said, um, "You know, Dr. Peale, why are you still doing this?" And he said, "Because well, people are still in pain, people are still challenged," uh, and so. You know, great, okay, and you know, what, Dr. Peel, what's your major teaching? What's the thing that would help people the most? And he said, you know, the problem is, people's problems, people's problem is we think we're not supposed to have problems. Christian Murti said, pardon me, this is just, I'm repeating this part, he said, uh, woman, women's role in man's life is to disturb his consciousness. Right? Now, what I take from that is the masculine principle that we all have in us is stillness, is emptiness. The feminine principle, which we all have within us also, is fullness, is color, is movement. And while that masculine principle is powerful, why we are here on this earth plane is to delight in life, in love, in joy, in movement, in color. So, back to my original question. What are the problems that you want to get rid of? And right now, could you, if you wanted to, recontextualize those problems? You know, and I think of um, Peter, he's a very Zen friend, teacher, 
and part of what he shared with me helps me so much sometimes when I get frustrated with my daughter, you know, cleaning this up, taking care of that, so much to do, and then it hits me. Oh, thank God. So blessed that I get to have this being of light in my life. When I get busy with emails and I have trouble keeping up with students or clients and I start to get a little stressed about it, then I say, how grateful I am, how lucky I am to have people that I get to connect with, that I get to care about, that I get to help, that love me and that I love. How blessed are we? How blessed are you? All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for making your life amazing. See you soon.